Hi guys, so um, you might notice that my face looks a bit different. I'm undergoing some very special beauty stuff. It's a lie, I did laser because I'm a hairy bitch from my hair to my toes, so no makeup. It's just my natural face. This is even my natural eyelash. It's a lie, the eyelashes are fake. Also, Jerry's in here. So wow, this is the strangest episode of Yellow Wall <laughs> in a long time. So welcome to Jerry Less and Makeup Less Yellow Wall. I didn't say my name. Tamara. Make a team who the matter. Still an agent butter with this if your water, but no be me go judge. So I was going through the news and blogs as I usually do trying to find the fascinating pop culture tidbits to inspire this episode when I saw yet another piece on Ramon Olorunwa Abbas or as he's more popularly known Hush Puppy. I almost didn't even open it because I assumed it was just an update on his ongoing case which I'll get into in a minute but the spirit just said let me just click it you know in case there's some kind of new gist and I was right it was just an update but at the end of the article the person that wrote it now said they were hoping all his legal issues could be resolved and he could go back to living his life in peace. And that, I was very confused at that. Now, for those of you who might somehow mistakenly not know Hush Puppy, he's a youngish man who had a side hustle as an internet celebrity, one who was known for his lavish lifestyle. And how could he afford said lavish lifestyle? With his main hustle, which was immense money laundering. The man was said to have laundered hundreds of millions of dollars and that's just the one they found in the america so only god knows how much he was carrying when he was here and the thing is it was never a secret too it's not like people followed him or were influenced by him thinking he was just a super cool rich guy no 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 everybody knew what he was the man literally managed to become a whole celebrity with a 2.5 million following on instagram based on being a scammer I've spoken of 419s quite a few times on this show, and I've also spoken about my confusion with how much Nigerians love them. Some of the biggest celebrities we have in this country aren't our actors or musicians. They are known fraudsters, and I don't get it. It's one thing for people to follow these guys out of curiosity. I mean, their lives are pretty drama-filled, and their job in general is kind of fascinating. So fascinating that Hush Puppies escapades are being turned into a film. But it's a whole other thing for people to be commenting on that Hush Puppies Instagram post. Eh, I love you. I hate that you've been arrested. Praying for you to be free. No call God in this matter, please. Or even worse, when they say justice for Hush Puppy. Just how? Just what? I used to be mad when I heard people supporting 419 until I had an actual conversation with one of these supporters. He started with the usual argument, saying, hey, now, but the country is hard. Our president wants to kill us. People have to do what they have to do. But then, when he got down to the details of the crime, to what 419 actually entails, this person I was arguing with had no idea. And that's when I realized that in Nigeria, because our leaders are literally stepping on our necks, seeing people make money gives us hope, and we can't help but root for the person, no matter how they got the money. It explains why our actual celebrities only have so many followers, but rich sugar babies and mean bloggers and babes who sell wigs but are running all over the world to hide from police, they have such a massive following. I get rooting for rich folk, because I mean they're aspirational. But would you root for a no-name robber? Were we rooting for Evans the kidnapper? People really don't seem to get the gravity of 419. But that's okay, because as per usual, I am here to change that. Which brings me to the topic of the day, things people do not realize about 419 scammers. Thing one, they are literally stealing. So the main thing I realized after my discussion with this 419 supporter is how little understanding he actually had of scamming. To most people, when you think of 419 and 419 guys, they are just taking money that's inside computer. They are taking it from banks or credit cards or whatever. You don't, but you don't realize that the thing is, it's not just random money lying around. It's people's actual hard-earned cash. Most 419 scams involve credit card scams, identity theft, or even the good old romance scam. But they are not just stealing from rich folk or rich institutions. They are taking from the everyday man. The man was allegedly trying to take people's stimulus checks during COVID. As per families were dying from not being able to work because of the lockdown everywhere. And they were fortunate enough to be in a country that was trying to provide for them. And Hush Puppy tried to carry the money. People needed to eat. So he could buy Gucci bag? And you people are telling me it deserves justice? It may all seem like fun and games until it's you, your friend, your cousin or your partner who one day you open your account and you just see nothing. Thing two, they are not Robin Hood. I've had a few people compare 419 criminals to Robin Hood saying that eh, they steal from the rich. First of all, as I said in thing one, they don't just steal from the rich. Anybody can get it. 
Also, the full story with Robin Hood is that he stole from the rich and he gave it to the poor, not used it to buy tickets for private jets. Most 419s don't seem to use their wealth for anything other than fancy cars and girls with big breasts. Hush Puppy told a story once about how he grew up in some hood. But did he ever go back and do anything for the hood? Fix a road, build a school, anything. Did he even carry his mother out of there and carry her to be enjoying the billionaire lifestyle he was enjoying? No, she is there today. Not only is the answer to these questions no, but allegedly when he went to visit that hood, he gave a woman there a 5k tip. This man had 40 million dollars in cash on him when he was arrested. That's just the one he was carrying as change. And his 5k, you are giving us tip? That's not Robin Hood dear. That's another thing. Which I will tell you in thing three. They are legit criminals. So let's make this one nice and quick. 419s take money from people or institutions without permission or legal rights and with no intention of returning it. What is stealing or theft? Literally defined as taking something from someone without their permission or legal rights and with no intention of returning it. So it doesn't matter why someone started doing 419 because I noticed we like to give a lot of excuses. Eh, the country is hard. It doesn't matter why. It doesn't matter what they even do with the money. Even if you are carrying it and using it to fix your society, fix your village, fix everywhere. It doesn't... The fact of the matter is all is stolen money. 419s are thieves. And thieves are criminals. That's the end of the story. Moving swiftly on, thing four, they are very proud. Look, Nigeria is Nigeria, so at times, I get the hopeless feeling that makes one resort to crime. Arm robbers, people that steal from their office, even last month, I get that these criminals are doing a bad thing, but so are their leaders, so sometimes it's in a condition. I always try not to judge, because you don't know another person's life. But please, at least most criminals acting out of desperation, sure they will do their bad thing, then hide or run away. Do you know how proud, how pompous, how very foolishly bold you must be to be stealing millions of dollars and posting your whole life on the internet? For goodness sake, at least try and just have just small shame for... Uh, uh, I cannot understand how anyone can support someone who not only steals, because, I mean, that's what 419 is, yes, straight up theft. And then after stealing, you will now send Instagram details needed to give you blue tick. How can anyone confidently follow and admire a person when they fear God, for goodness sake? How? Finally, we have thing five. They hurt people. You know me and everyone at Yellow Wall is a firm advocate for letting people do what they like, even if it blurs the lines of good and bad. Our well, morals here are very loosey-goosey at best. But the one rule is do what you like, but no one should get hurt. 419 scam artists don't just hurt a lot of people. They have literally gone on to take down institutions and just scatter people's lives, completely ruin it. I was reading about this old lonely woman who fell for a romance scam and sent her life savings to a scammer. And it's easy to laugh at the woman and call her a fool. But if you think about it, she's finished. She was an old woman. She cannot get a new job or fall back on some rich parent's money. So because now somebody is a little foolish and just looking for romance in the wrong place, you deserve to have nothing. And that's even one that sends money with her own hand. People whose details are stolen, Uncle. Companies whose accounts are emptied. Hush Puppy had the email addresses of 800,000 people, nearly 1 million people. All of them, Uncle. They were ready to carry all their cash. People can deny it all they want, but facts are facts. 419s take from real people and ruin lives. They are not good. But that's it. To be very honest, as I've said a million times, Nigeria is the upside down. Our leaders steal from us and arrest animals. Our currency is pretty much toilet paper. And in 2021, our men are still busy tweeting about women's place being in the kitchen. We do anyhow here. So I don't think our fascination with scammers is really going to go anywhere. But okay, we can be fascinated. But please, let's at least stop glorifying them. I beg. 419 is a crime, guys. Let's treat it as such. And now it's time for us. T, the part of the show where I answer your burning questions and give you advice that may lead to actual burning, depending on how you view it. Question one, how do you deal with an annoying boss? Personally, me personally, I've never dealt with an annoying boss. Once my boss starts annoying me, you are no longer my boss, I've quit the institution. But, um, I mean, it depends. If you have like a really nice boss, you could maybe have a... Actually, they're annoying you, so they're probably not nice. If you have an understanding-ish boss, but who's just annoying, then maybe have a conversation. If not, shut the hell up and collect your paycheck. Paycheck? Your paycheck! It's your boss, not your friend. Let them annoy you. Just take your money. Also, steal something on the office. Steal something small from her desk or his desk. Go and pick her pen or her laptop charger head. Not the actual charger, just something that irritates her. Rip the zip off her laptop bag so it does not. Just 
quick to annoy them back. But don't let them catch you. They fire you. That's your business. I have a boyfriend. We get on very well. And he treats me like a queen. But he said that while he loves me, my weight bothers him. What should I do? Um, it's actually not a tough one. Does your weight bother you? No? Then tell that. <laughs> Shut up. It's very simple. You should either you leave him completely because clearly he's not serious or you try and just have a conversation once and be like mm, shut up about my weight and if he ever brings it up again then you pour him hot water and you leave him not boiling hot though you kill him but you know just and that's all the questions for today if you want tips advice or just in the mood to ask me a question to see what nonsense answer i will provide then go ahead and email gmail.com with one w because yeah or you can go ahead and dm me or accelerate on the social medias and that brings me to the end of the episode what are some of the craziest scammer stories you've heard let me know in our comments below on our social media platforms and make sure you've hit that subscribe button so you're always first in line for accelerate tv's wonderful content my name is tamara and i'll be back in two weeks with more from the yellow wall i always actually forget the wall is behind me so sometimes it just feels just holding up nothing the yellow wall Yellow world. Make a table the matter. Still an agent butter with this if you're water, but no be me go judge.